Today, on the North American Journeyman, can Los Caprachos continue their unlikely World Cup run? Honduras looked pretty good. We made it through. Group L. But we're on to the second round, where we face Italy. Honduras set for FIFA World Cup clash, up against it in their tough encounter against European Championship winners Italy. Really? Did they win it? Let's take a look at the Euros real quick. I think I looked at this maybe one time earlier. Yeah, they won in 2024. They beat England in extra time. Great. So they're ranked 6th. Potential round of 16 clash against Germany awaits. Germany plays against Jamaica. We'll take a look at a bracket here, but yeah, odds are not in our favor, obviously. Italy, they were in Group E, and they won the group. They won all three games that they've played. 3-0 beat Ghana, 3-0 beat Colombia, and 4-0, no, excuse me, 5-2, they beat New Zealand. I mean, that doesn't sound like Italy to me. That's scoring too many goals. This looks like Italy. One goal for, one goal against. So we are the new Italy. We're Italy now. That's what's going on. Big day. Big day for Honduras. No fears for Maldonado. He's going to start, actually, because... Well... We need him, unfortunately. But I mean, our defense has played great. So, got some tired guys. We're one day out from the game. We're going to do the press conference, and we'll take a look at the bracket right now. Just to see what's been going on. What's going to happen here for the second round. Because there's some interesting ties. Second round. Take a look at the tree. We got a USA Mexico to kick off the second round. Rivalry. Netherlands Belgium. That's a rivalry, right? It's gotta be. Jamaica Germany. Historic rivalry that everyone is aware of. Jamaica versus Germany. Italy versus Honduras, obviously. Ecuador Chile. Interesting contest there. Nigeria Uruguay. Nigeria beat USA 6-3. I think I picked them to they might even make the quarters. I could see that happening. Um, Croatia, Senegal, and Ukraine, England. That's the top half. Favorites are obviously Germany. Up top, Italy. Uh, Italy, Germany. I mean, this our side is pretty stacked. But there's a couple little matchups down here. We got Ivory Coast, Colombia. Australia, Japan, this is probably the weakest four, group of four. Czechia, Canada, you got France, Argentina. Two finalists from the previous World Cup facing off in the second round of this World Cup. Portugal, Austria, Ireland, Morocco, Tunisia, Brazil, and Spain, Poland. So, I mean, you got Brazil, Spain, Portugal, France, and Argentina. But up here, I think, is a bit stronger. But anyways, we're facing Italy. Let's go talk to the press. Let's try and get a little press boost for our boys. Lots of people skip this, but sometimes, hey, look how positive everybody is. They're just stoked that we made it through. Are you kidding me? We've done better than expected. How much further can we go? Um, We're just going to take it one game at a time. Whatever happens, happens. Um, we, how challenging is it to get our players to play as well as they did against Iran? If we work hard and keep morale up, yeah. Well, I think that, that end of the press conference, everybody's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could do this. One game at a time. None of the players loved it, but all right, we'll just see how the results rock in. USA beats Mexico. 
under 20s are playing in the CONCACAF championship. Looks like they qualified. All the best players are mostly playing for us. Mexico wins in extra time. Netherlands, despite having a red card, gets through Belgium. Colombia beats Ivory Coast. And Australia, a 92nd minute winner, beats Japan. So you got Netherlands versus Mexico. Wow, 92nd minute to send it to extra time. Then went up. Sargent levels it. And then Jimenez gets the winner in extra time. What a game that would be to watch. I wonder where it was, too. Is there a way to look at that? In Estadio Azteca. Imagine. Imagine the scenes. Imagine the scenes. Intermediary. Great. 32-year-old striker. I think I'm okay. All right. A couple games before ours. We'll see what results roll in. Canada beats Czechia. What's... Oh, latest score. They're in extra time. 96th minute. Frolic. They're in extra time right now. While we're making squad selections here, because our game's coming right up. We're in the locker room. We're ready to go. All right, boys. They score a boatload of goals. They think they're this fashionable new Italy. No. We're going to show them how Italy plays. We're going to grind out a result. Send it to extra time. Win on penalty kicks. That's what's going to happen. This is the starting setup we're going with. Rivas on the right, Palm on the left. Ellis is playing up top. The standard three midfielders. Ariaga is dead. Mara Diaga is also tired. Maldonado comes in. Acosta should be fresh. Alvarez has fresh legs as well. Lopez has played really good in this tournament. We're playing a little bit more cautious. Let's see what we can do. I know Ariaga. I know. Play, play a half. Play 60 minutes. See how you go. Sandro Tonali. I think they play a 4-3-3. All right. Play with freedom? No. We're the underdogs. We'll, we'll do some weird stuff again. Put the hands on the hips. Attackers. Pump some fists. I have faith in you, Ellis. Mara Diaga is the only one that was inspired by that. Okay. Um, how are we going to handle Di Lorenzo, their fullback? He'll make a mistake. Can he last the full match? I think so. We'll see. I think Kevin Alvarez has been faring as a wingback. Um, he's doing fine. He played really bad, actually, in the first game. I might have to switch things up. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to say something negative right before we send him out. All right, 4-3-3 versus 4-3-3. European champions versus CONCACAF upstarts. We're playing in Houston in NRG Stadium. Our last two games were played here. Let's see what we can do. We're going to watch extended highlights on this one. Because it's probably just going to be this episode. Are they wearing green? Hey, let's, let's tackle them hard. Here we go. Send a message. Lose the ball. Early encouragement. Keep them happy. Keep the spirits raised while we have an opportunity here. Launching it downfield. Can Ellis do something? Can we hang on to possession here? Nope. We cannot. Berardi. Lorenzo on the right back position. Scalvini. I don't know about Italy in these green kits. I mean, green is on their flag, but everybody just knows them as blue and white. Like I said, we're the new Italy. Ball to the top, Raspadori. This is that's all oh, that pass needs to just go to here. To Acosta. Berardi on the wing. Plays it back. Esposito. Barella. 
Good little tackle from Rivas getting back. Chiesa, though, lifts it up to Tonali. And it's an early goal for Italy. I'm sinking in my chair. And we're down. He's, yeah, Maradiaga's just got too much to do there. Trying to track Raspadori. We're down. Let's try and keep it close so we can go for something here. But we've only scored one goal in this World Cup. I mean, they're just shutting down all the options, aren't they? Esposito, Barella, this is going to, I think this might get ugly pretty fast. Come on, gentlemen. Berardi drives in. Yeah, they're kind of pulling us just all over the place. DeMarco takes a shot. We're not going to be able to play through them at all either. I feel like we need to do one of these two. Try and go through the middle. Do this as well. It's all right. They have all the possession. We can't work it through them, but we can we can try and do something here. Go and balanced. Tonali, push him back. They send it back and then bring it back forward through Di Lorenzo. He's going to cross in. Low cross. Blocked, though. The block works. I'm just sinking down. How low am I now? This chair is an issue. Ooh, flashing header across. Sorry, I'm readjusting over here. This chair is... It's got to go. It just has to go. I got a sinking feel. They're in penalties, but Jamaica has 122nd minute equalizer, and Jamaica has missed three penalties. Jamaica's good, right? They're giving Germany a game. Like they're they're baller. Here we go. To Palma, what can he find? Play Ellis through. Just takes a shot. Oh, Donnarumma. Didn't look too confident in that one. Thought the little slip-in pass to Ellis would have been the play, but all right, there we go. Near post header from Ariaga. I like the effort. He's tired. We might move into a number 10. After this, because he's probably real dead. Come on, guys. One shot. To Marco, attacking free kick. Tries to go far post. Close effort, no good. Acosta just has not done it. We're going to change up his position, try and get him involved a little different way. Another free kick from DeMarco off the wall this time. Scalvini, Esposito at the top of the box. Can we get a tackle in? Ellis, can he beat him to the ball here? No, he just gives up. Come on, Ellis. Palma's on a 6.3. He's had our only shot. And he's on a yellow. Press him. Last second little encouragement. All right, well, we're only down 1-0. We've kind of held them to just that one opportunity, really. We're not creating anything, and we have no possession. Satisfactory at best. You haven't been good enough. Get it together. Talking to him individually. You weren't that bad. We can do better. Keep going. You weren't that bad. You weren't that bad. Not happy. Not really your fault. 
Playing well, keep going. Weren't that bad. Keep going. It's a little bit of green. Talked to them each individually. We need to try and change it up so we can get something here. This isn't working. Slow down the tempo just a little bit. I think we narrow it. We just go standard. Well, maybe we counter press them. So we'll, we'll lose this. And we'll start. I don't really want to do that. We'll just, we'll get way too stretched. And I might bring in this guy. Youngster as a number 10. His passing just isn't good, though. It's really frustrating. He's not really a finisher. He's not really a passer, but he's really good. It's kind of rough. Lozano, I don't know. I might have to take Ellis out. We'll give him an opportunity. But if he's not going to chase after the ball, put some effort in. Barella's on an injury. We got to do something here. Jamaica did themselves justice. They made extra time. We're doing okay here. They're pressing us pretty high. Good ball to Acosta. Play it left. There is Palma. You needed to play it into space. Maybe it's because I took off, played into space that he decided not to. So he plays it directly to the Italian player. They've got numbers in the middle here through Barella, but the shot isn't any good. Pass just needs to be better. Maybe Palma was in a bad spot. He's really not playing well. And neither is Acosta, so our left side is just contributing nothing today. Ellis again loses out. Yellow card players lunging in. Ellis loses it. He's coming out. He's trying to dribble around and maintain possession, do all sorts of crazy stuff. It's just not working. Barella, Raspadori's through. He's in on goal. It's 2 0. He's on side. We're bringing in some youngsters. It's Melendez. Young wonder kid. We gotta we gotta get something here. Yeah, dribble less. I don't I don't know how else to say it. Stop dribbling. You don't know what you're doing. You can't dribble through Italy. It's hard enough to pass through them, but you definitely can't dribble through them. All right, we're down 2-0. That's just... Central defender gets pulled out. The other one doesn't follow. And we're down. Two shots, two goals for them. Lopez is having one of those bad games. This might start to get real ugly. Nobody's out there to get to it. Palma and Ellis are coming out next. Acosta's on a 6.1. Good tackle from Rivas. He's got pace. He's pacey. But there he decided just to not show it. Rivas has 17 pace, 16 acceleration. Can't take advantage of it, though. DeMarco. Please put a tackle in. Barella plays it out wide. Chiesa. Barella just drives right through, just walks through and scores. No, nope, he doesn't. Good save that time from Lopez. But they're just walking through us. Near post header. Bastoni, Raspadori blocked. Good, because Lopez was on his butt on the ground. Tenali. 
whips across in from the corner. And now Raspadori's through and we block it again. Boys, we need to just make some subs to slow some things down. This is not going well. Dead Moncada's coming in. Palma's coming out. Lagos is coming in. I'm just playing youngsters now. We, we need to teach the new boys to come in. Who else? Ellis has just been garbage. A youngster or maybe Lozano. Yeah, this will be Lozano's last go. Yeah, he's definitely he's probably more of a playmaker to be honest. Rivas, we just need you further up the field. And you can play support. And narrow it out. We need to produce something here. We're under pressure. We're deeply under pressure here. Points to the spot. Now it's a penalty. Penalty awarded. Lopez has to save this or our World Cup dreams are finito. And he slots it in. It's 3-0. It's probably a little harsh, to be honest. I mean, they've just been dominating us, peppering our goal. We just never, we never really stood a chance. But we tried. We tried. We made it out of the groups. That was the goal for this mostly young Honduran team with no defenders. Italy's just scoring goals on everybody. I hope this doesn't just turn into an absolute catastrophe. I mean, there, that's just embarrassing. Okay, we're just embarrassing ourselves. We take Lopez out. Maybe Mara Diaga, Dikos can come in. That's our last sub, though. I think we'll bring in Debbie Flores. Just play balanced. Let's not get smashed. Yep, they turned it into a drubbing. Dang, we were kind of, we had that one effort from, you know, 40 yards out, and that was our that was our hope. Donnarumma struggled with it a little bit, but yeah, we just we can't defend against a team like Italy. We did good enough defending against teams like Morocco, but can we score a goal though? We only have one. Costa, he is the one goal scorer for our team. Looks like Donnarumma got a fingertip to it. Yeah, four goals is just too much to come back from. Against Italy in the World Cup. Yeah, it's not happening. But the last episode was fun. This one's a little sad, but it is what it is. I mean, this is one of our goals to make the semifinal of a World Cup with a nation from CONCACAF. I don't think Honduras is capable of that feat. Even with the league loaded, and if we did a build a nation sort of attempt, Chiesa misses. You know, upped the facilities and tried to, you know, work up our best youth players to get them to reach their potential abilities. I still think World Cup semifinal is... It would take a miracle to get to that level with Honduras. I think it's either USA, Mexico, Jamaica would be a far shout, but still more capable than Honduras and maybe Costa Rica, but they're probably just a small little step above. But yeah, it's not obviously it wasn't going to happen on this run but here we go Lozano's through and Donnarumma still makes the save dang at least we could have scored one maybe we can score a goal against Italy 
unlikely, but it would be nice to end our World Cup with a goal. Five nil. I mean, when this game is harsh on you, it can be really harsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what I was expecting. Lopez is done. I mean, all of our goalkeepers are... We have a 30-year-old who's not that good. There is a youngster, though. 6-0. Okay, I mean, come, we don't need to get embarrassed like this. We don't deserve this. Oh, come on, oh, come on. Come on, Lopez on a 5.7. I guess we can parade him. Come on, guys. Show some pride. Like I said, Maldonado's playing 6.8. Some of the issue with Honduras and their players is the defense and the mentality. When they get down, they get down. Locatelli, Raspadori. I mean, this is just getting embarrassing at this point. Oof, six nil. I mean, we tried to open it up defensively, but when they score that goal, this is just, this is, they're the true Italy, right? I mean, that's Italy. Can we score one, though? Penalty. Melendez, no, it's blocked. Can we get a 6 1? Please, not a 7 nil. And we didn't even score. Couple little efforts. That one on one, who was that? Was that Acosta? Going through, or was it Flores? I can't remember. Yeah. <sighs> 6 0. That's brutal. All right. Well, we accomplished our goal. We gave ourselves an opportunity. But we were never honestly going to give Italy a game. We're well past time here. You can go ahead and blow the whistle. We don't we don't need to see. Yeah. Comes to a close. We gave it our best effort. We really we produced a little bit, but yeah, we gave them four XG. So six is harsh. They scored some nice goals. Berardi. That 53rd to 70th minute, 15, 10, 15 minutes of action. I don't like it. It was like you weren't even there. I mean, honestly. Costa, the one goal scorer in the World Cup. Ellis didn't do anything. Palma. It is what it is. Humiliating defeat. It was appalling. Um, I don't know. Just end the interview. Everybody played bad. Like, <laughs> But Canada gets through. They're, uh, them in Mexico... Jamaica did good to get to penalties against Germany. But yeah, we really didn't have too much of a good job there. We need to build on it. Yeah, they're delighted. We beat Iran. We got a game. We got four points and got through the group. That's pretty good. So I'll take that. So it was a good run. It wasn't meant to be, but thanks for watching. We'll be back at the end of the transfer window. I'll show you what all went down with the rest of the World Cup, and then transfers, and then we'll probably be straight in to the Central American Cup with the Royal Society. We got some spicy little guys coming in, young Hondurans. Looking forward to next season. So thanks for watching. It was a good time. We'll catch you on the beach. Adios from the World Cup 2026. See you next time. <laughs>